Okay, so we're back now with part three of this uh, little project we've got going on of the epoxy resin bottle cap beer barrel top. And what we need to do now is get a few bits of items prepped for the epoxy resin and just think out the whole process. Um, I've uh, got an online calculator, so I've calculated that this is uh, 54 centimeters in diameter. I'm going to approximately need one centimeter depth of epoxy resin. And somehow I fortunately got three kilos of epoxy resin, uh, which I've never used before. So I'm a little bit intimidated by the whole thing. I'm expecting it to something to go wrong it always does the first time you try it. i probably should try a little side project first but uh i'm just gonna go head first dive straight into this and see if i can get it going anyway um hopefully it's all gonna work out um i need to make this flat uh, right now it's on we've got this on a big uh, heavy thick woolen rug so i just need to make sure that this is flat with my spirit level and then after that i can uh flip the camera around to the opposite direction and we can get going on the epoxy resin which is going to be fun and a little bit scary because i've never used epoxy resin um and i've got three kilos of it here so i've got my daughter who's going to give me a hand um I'm probably going to need it we've got gloves and um, we've got um we've got protective hand equipment we've got um, a really nice long spatula for um uh brush up uh, a spatula and down the sides of the two containers. I've got two containers, which you're going to see in a second. And I've got a little palette knife to spread it evenly out over this. And we're going to do, we're going to be a little bit glam. <laughs> there are some little flecks of the, the adhesive uh, bonding filler that uh, they're in the holes, but uh, we're just going to throw a bit of glitter into it just for the crack. Um, a bit of silver and gold glitter. I could live to regret that, but I'm going to go for it anyway. So let's get started on this and uh, wish me luck. Hopefully this all works out. So this is part three and let's get on it. <sighs> okay, so we have everything set up here. We've just flipped the camera around to the opposite direction. Um, don't mind all the mess. Uh, what we've got is our protective hand gloves. This is my daughter Angie who's going to give me a handout for this. Um, I'm using Angie's glitter. Uh, we're going to add like about half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon of each. I don't want to make the whole thing um, kitsch looking, but a nice tiny little bit of a sparkle would be cool. Uh, so we've got our gloves on. I'm going to try not ripping these on my ring. And now this is the epoxy epoxy plast which I got from Amazon um, three kilos in total got a ratio of two to one which I have to weigh even though I think they've weighed it out I can't really see it on here very well the instructions on the back as you can see are minute so I had to take a picture of those and and just make sure that I was following the exact instructions every single epoxy resin you buy will be different there will be different instructions and apparently if you don't follow them, like you can have a bad cure um, and the epoxy resin may not set. So we don't want that to happen. Um, it's a bit of a gamble just doing this straight out of, um, uh, straight off the bat and just going for it. This is the dual cast. This is the, this is the, is this the resin? Um, this is the hardener. So this is the red resin and this is the hardener. And dual cast just means that it's diamond, diamond clear, crystal clear. So I got a crystal clear one, had to get it from Germany because they wouldn't deliver it from England because it's a controlled uh, chemical. Um, we've got this little handy tool in case I need to scrape it down in between the bottle caps. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Um, we've nicked this from work. It was on its last legs, but it's actually perfect uh, for scraping down. I've noticed in all of these YouTube videos of people doing this, um, that they seem to be stirring it with like wooden spoons and all different kinds of things that may or may not be perfect, but that's what I've got. And I know I can scrape down all the sides. So we're gonna pour both into here. It says weigh it by volume. Now I assume this is two kilos and this is one kilo. It looks like that, but I don't wanna get this wrong. So I'm just gonna to go with how they've said. Weigh it by volume, uh, weigh it by 
weight, not by volume. So if I weighed it by volume, that'd be in a measuring jug. So apparently you get all of the weights wrong if you do it in a measuring jug. So I've got to do it on the scales, a uh, ratio of two to one. And I pretty much think it's the whole lot of this. And then after we stirred it in here for three minutes, we have to pour it all in here and continue stirring, but scrape out absolutely everything and put it into here. The reason they're saying to do that, I think, is because they want to make sure that you've got it absolutely stirred. Um, no more than 300 revolutions per minute. Um, that's in case you were doing it with a drill, um, a drill and a paddle on a drill. Um, it just might whip it up and add too many air bubbles in it. But just stirring it around completely for three minutes and then into there for another three minutes and after that i think we're ready to go but uh, we are going to put a little bit of this in here first so we're just going to fire in ah oh, geez i really don't want too much so i've got like literally about half a teaspoon there just so every now and again there might be a little bit of a sparkle uh going through it and we'll do the same with silver as well. And hopefully that mixes in well. Um, so not much, maybe it's not enough, um, maybe it's too much, I don't really know, I've never done this before, but this is it, we're gonna give it a go now. So let me get, and I've got my stirrer here, Angie, who's gonna stir this, uh, so, Let's see if I can open this thing, that would be handy. That looks quite hard to open. Okay, crack that one open now, and I crack this one open. So I'm gonna pour it all in there. I've got the scales on grams. I'm hoping this goes to two kilo. That's fine. It's got a very, very faint bluish tinge to it. Um, and we're up to 1.3, 1.5, 1.7, 1.8. So this is gonna be two kilos. I've already made my first mistake. I've dropped in the, I've dropped in the cap in there. I'm just gonna do myself a big favor and get that out now. So that's gonna be epoxy resin. And I'm going to try and get as much of this in here as I can so that the, the exact, we're at 1.940. And I know that the, it should go all the way up to two kilos. Um, some of it is on this ring, so that was a mistake. But I think we're okay there now. We're up to 1.96. I think that's going to be cool. And while that's doing that, I'm going to just leave that there. So uh, now we're going to move on to putting in the hardener. And as soon as that is in, we are kind of on the clock. So I'm hoping this goes to a kilo. Let's take that off. And... Uh, it's making a kind of bubble in it. And so now, Angie, if you want to begin to stir it just at the edge on your side, so we don't uh, get any on your gloves, if we can. So take your hand off there for a second. If you just uh, lift up this, and let's just see, are we getting up to three kilo? We are, we're at 2.8. We're nearly at 2.9, so we know that that is definitely what we're supposed to do. So Angie, you can begin to stir that now. Okay, so uh, we've been stirring this for about a minute now. Um, we're gonna give it a thorough stir. This is the most important part. If you don't stir it in enough, we could end up um, with some of the epoxy resin not hardening or not curing as they call it. And therefore we, I would end up with um, a whole bunch of liquid on top of a beer barrel, which would probably end up me throwing the beer barrel away. So I don't want that. Um, we've stirred it now, I'm guessing roughly for two minutes. Um, not getting too many bubbles, but there are some bubbles in there. But um, the bubbles we're gonna get out in a minute by uh, using this blowtorch that I've got here, self-igniting blowtorch. Um, and we are then going to just pour it over. 
So we'll be back in a minute. Did it say you should use the blowtorch? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're really cool, but they're also kind of scary. <laughs> So we think we've got uh, three minutes of stirring going on there and everything seems to be going well. I can see there's a whole bunch of tiny bubbles all the way through it. Uh, but we're now going to pour it into here over the glitter and we're just going to see. So Angie, if you can just pop that one in there. And then we are going to, we're just going to carefully pour this in here. And I am going to scrape down all of the sides there, so that's perfect. That looks nice. And make sure that I get everything in there so that we're getting an exact uh, ratio of resin to hardener. And I think this is going well. Let me just have a look there. I just get the last few bits down. It's gone already a little bit tacky, I can feel, on the sides of this plastic container, but I'm really happy that I got this flat edge, smooth, uh, soft edge uh, palette knife so that I can just get absolutely everything out of there. And then we are going to give it another three minutes, which we'll do in fast forwards, and then we'll be ready to pour it on. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my blowtorch here and the epoxy resin at the back now. I'm just going to turn on this and just very gently just give it a... Oh! Okay. Now you can just spin it around there, Ange. And back again. And again. Yeah, one more time. And I don't see too many, if any, bubbles in there at all. So I think we are ready to go at this stage. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> and. We are just going to give it one final stir to make sure none of the glitters at the bottom. And I'm just going to show you what we have got in this bucket here. So looks like I've got a ton of glitter going on, but no going back now. Uh, it's time to pour it on. Angie, do you want to just pick up the spirit level? Spirit level, yeah, sure. Uh, it's just over there. Down on the floor on the green palette. Brilliant, thanks. And just fire that on again, just to make exactly sure that we've got it. That is pretty good. That's all right. Okay, ready to go. Three, two, one. So here is the big pour, and we hope we have enough epoxy resin to go over the whole thing. Just gonna go real careful and make sure we get it in every little nook and cranny. Nice amount of glitter in there, not too much, not too little. That's really pretty. And it seems to be that we've got the exact right amount. Uh, it's got to fill in a whole bunch of gaps here, so I'm going to go a bit slow because there's a little ridge inside that needs to fill up. And then, have I missed a bit? Just here? Yeah. I can't see it. Mm -hmm. The water, the level's a bit. Okay, okay, okay. We get our nice bit of glitter in there. It's so pretty. And I don't see any bubbles. I see one bubble there, but it seems to be popping itself. And I'm just going to scrape out absolutely everything from in here now. So we might as well make use of what we've got. And what do you think, Ange? That's really nice. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Um, so if you come and sit around here on the stool, Ange, and we'll, we'll just see 
Oh, I spilled one bit just there. I want to try and get that off. I don't want that on there. Um, I think, do you see any bubbles in there? I don't see any air bubbles. I do, they're popping themselves though. Are they? What, yeah. lots of them? There's low, like there's a few, there's small ones, but they're all, pop, they're emerging and popping themselves. Okay, I think, I think that's it. I think that we have managed to do as much as I can do now. Uh, these hopefully are now going to be immortalized in this barrel for forever and ever. <laughs> um, uh, let's go through a couple of them just for a bit of fun. We've got Hobgoblin there, Lindemans, uh, Carlo Brewing Company, which is O'Hara's, uh, Rochefort Trappist Number 10, Orval, uh, the Sweetwater Brewing Company, Odell's Brewing, um, uh, Sierra Nevada, I love Sky Brewing Company, which is an interesting one. Um, what have we got? What can you see there, Ange? Green Flash. Master Brew, White Mas Water. Staraproman, because we like their Pilsner. Meskin, Erdinger. There's Judas, Black Sheep, Hoffen Maltz, and Ham Hamburg. Rafson, yeah, okay. Brewdog, um, Eyinger, Adnams. Uh, Victory. Oh, we don't want to fly in there. I think I saw a fly going close to it there. London Pride. Uh, London Pride. We've got an Iron Maiden one here. Weltenberg Kloster. Yeah. The Porterhouse Brewing Company. Porterhouse. Can't forget Porterhouse right next to Sturtebecker Brewery. And we've got Western Herd, Le Chouf. Um, oh, loads of different ones. Anyway, um, that's it for now. I'm going to let this... Um, hopefully cure over the next 24 to 48 hours, 36 hours minimum, I think it is. And um, fingers crossed we come back uh, tomorrow or the next day that we don't have a whole bunch of flies stuck in there. And what we do have instead is a really nice set um, tabletop beer barrel bar thingy. And that's it. Thanks, Angie. No problem.